Hey guys, welcome back to Marie's Kitchen and today we're going to be making barbecue vegan pulled pork sandwiches. I'm going to show you guys how to make homemade barbecue sauce. If you're lazy, you can just buy the bottle from the store of barbecue, but if you want to make it, here's how. So first we're starting off with some ketchup. You're going to need two cups of ketchup, any ketchup you like. Here's my cup. Second cup. One cup of water. Gonna be using a half a cup of apple cider vinegar. If you don't have apple cider vinegar, you can use whatever vinegar you have. Gonna be using a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. You guys told me how to say it, I still don't know. Gonna be taking a tablespoon of lemon juice. Spoon of lemon juice. And I'm taking some red hot hot sauce. Gonna take about a teaspoon of this, or however much you prefer. You use whatever hot sauce you like. We're gonna be taking a tablespoon of mustard. Okay, and we're gonna give all this a mix. And if I didn't say it already, you should have your fire on. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add some of our seasonings. I'm taking half a tablespoon of onion powder. We're taking half a tablespoon of black pepper. All right guys, so now I'm gonna be adding five tablespoons of light brown sugar. And now I'm gonna be adding five tablespoons of regular sugar. Now I'm gonna be taking half a tablespoon of paprika. So I'm gonna be adding a pinch of pink salt. Just add salt and pepper to taste. I'm gonna be taking a half a tablespoon of garlic powder. Just to give it that smoky barbecue flavor, this is optional, I'm gonna be adding liquid smoke. Go ahead and mix it all together. All right guys, so this is the barbecue sauce all done. We're just gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes to an hour uncovered until it thickens. All right, now let's move on to the pulled pork jackfruit. Okay guys, so this is my jackfruit. I have about three cans of jackfruit and this is the jackfruit that we use, the young green jackfruit in brine, which is just water and salt. You can use this one or the sweet one, it doesn't really matter. Since we use the one in water and salt, we put a barbecue seasoning on ours, which is just paprika, chili powder, garlic powder, black pepper, and some brown sugar. Just gonna go ahead and pour that in. We're gonna use two tablespoons of vegetable broth. I prefer, but I only have stock right now, so it doesn't really matter. Guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and cover this, let this sit and get soft, and then we're gonna shred it. So this is the pulled pork jackfruit all shredded up. We added a little bit of the barbecue sauce, and now we're gonna put it in a pan and throw it in the oven on 350 for about 20 minutes. All right guys, so this is how it looks, all shredded. Just gonna go ahead and throw it in the oven. All right guys, so this is it fresh out the oven. I did put it in the oven for about 20 minutes, took it out, glazed it with some barbecue sauce, and put it back in the oven for about 15 minutes. And this is how it looks. Look at that, you guys. 
So good that look. It's crazy how it really mimics pulled pork. But we're about to put these on some buns and stay tuned for our mukbang. Alright you guys, welcome back to our channel. For those who are new, I'm Marie and these are my kids, Alana and Darion. And as you guys probably know, HD is not here with us today. But y'all, today we got some pulled pork sandwiches and some seasoned uh, potato wedges. So we're about to say our prayer and dig in, y'all, because we, we started. Something. What? You made the barbecue sauce. Oh, yeah. Homemade barbecue sauce, you guys. The recipe for this pulled pork sandwich is in the beginning. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So we're about to say our grace and dig in. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food you bless us with. Let it nourish our bodies. Bless the hands that prepared it. Me. <laughs> and um, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Ooh, time to dig in. Amen, you guys. You funny. Mmm. These fries are actually super good. Not saying that was going to be bad, but like. That was so big. Mmm. Oh, yeah, you guys. I'm gonna um I'm gonna answer some more questions too in this video. Let mm. me eat a little bit. How do you like it? Good. Mm. You want it so good? This burger's bomb. It ain't good. I recorded a little clip of it, of the food, so I'm going to insert that, because HD's not here to show you guys his close-up. Mm. Mm. You guys, once you make your own homemade barbecue sauce, you don't want to buy a store-bought anymore. Right. And do it some more, but... Mm. Yeah. <laughs> there you haven't been able to do a dance more. How you feeling about that, buddy? Mm -hmm. mm. You guys, this is so good. I love jackfruit. There's so much you can do with it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I know. Mm. Mm. They're not fries. They're, They're not fries. They're buys. What? Baked fries. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. He said. You know what? <laughs> mm. I take this off. Mm-mm. Just eat it regular. No, because like I, I, I can't taste, I can't really taste it. I don't taste it. Yeah, you can. It's because like, yeah. of the bread. Dairy. Good boy. I'll leave a little bit on. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. The thing is, it's just like crazy. From the sound of the fry. The both. Mmm. 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 Mm. Oops. This is so bad. Can you guys, like, this one's looking juicy. I'm about to crunch this one. You guys gotta make this recipe. And when y'all do, I wanna see it. You guys send me some pictures on Instagram. See my dad's in here? I'll do it for him. Yeah, <coughs> <coughs> so daddy. It's so good. It's crazy how real the jackfruit look, really looks like pulled pork, y'all. I'm just amazed at that. 
Mm. All right, guys. Where are we at? Five minutes. Halfway through my food. I'm going to pour some questions up. And thanks again to everybody who sent in some questions. I'm going to try to get through as many as I can today. Hey, guys, I got that, like, stuff in my teeth. <laughs> oh, it feels weird. Did you post the video? Hmm? You post the video? No. Oh. <laughs> I have to. All right. Okay, you guys, like I was saying, um, thank you to everybody who submitted their questions. There was, like, more questions than I expected, so. I know, right? I'm going to try to get through as many as I can in this video. If I don't get to your question, um, I'm definitely going to get to it in another video. But a lot of the questions were the same, so. Oh, excuse me. So, um, I probably already answered that. Okay, and this is part two of the Q&A. Let's see. Let me get to where I was. Ooh. Okay, so right here. Someone said, why did the, not someone, JV the Clutch. JV the Clutch said, why did you, why did you choose the vegan life? I didn't choose a vegan life. It chose me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No. Um, honestly, I kind of answered that, like, why we went vegan. Um, I was always curious of the vegan diet. So, um, and then I was having um, some health issues. So, I did research on, on um, the vegan diet and how it was helping people naturally. So that's why I chose the vegan diet. Mm. Let me go through some other questions. We already answered that. How old are you guys? Already answered that. Okay. What type of foods do you do you generally eat when you guys are doing muk when you guys aren't doing mukbangs? And any tips for starting a new YouTube channel? This was from Rebecca Corbin. Okay, so first questions. First question, what kind of foods do we generally eat when we're not doing mukbangs? We, um, it just depends. That's kind of like a hard question. But typically, like, so for breakfast, I love oatmeal. Alana, we eat grits. Yeah, I was going to say, Alana love grits. Yeah, they eat grits. They like grits. Um, I love oatmeal. I like it with fruit. I like it plain. Um, I like acai bowls are some of our favorite. Me and HD love acai bowls. Smoothies. What else do we have? Um, HD loves avocado toast. So that's like, uh, like some of our favorite breakfast. Lunch. I think I mentioned this in another question, but we like, um, our mock tuna wraps. That's what we generally will eat for lunch or I'll have like a big salad or if I'm not that hungry Ooh. and if I'm not that hungry sorry you guys if I'm not that hungry I'll probably have like another like a protein smoothie or something like that and for dinner what do we have for dinner it just kind of depends sometimes we have the same thing that we have for lunch oh like our red lentil soup I love making that they oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> they hate when I make it because we eat it for days. They they like it, but they hate when I make it because we eat it, like, often. But, um, yeah, red lentil soup is, like, one of my favorite go-to dinners. It's really good. I'm going to make that recipe for you guys. And what was... The, okay, the second question. Any tips on starting a YouTube channel? So, we are, as you guys know, fairly new at our YouTube channel. But what we've learned so far... Well, what I've learned... Uh, my tips would be to, of course, just start because we like, us as people, we like to procrastinate and um, just be like, oh, I'm going to start, I'm going to do this, or oh, I need this, I need that. To start, just start. If you have a phone, if you don't have any lighting, just use natural light, turn your phone on, and just start. 
Um, that would be my tip number one. Tip number two, um, stay in your own lane. Don't worry about what someone else is doing. Don't don't worry about how someone else's channel is doing, how someone else's channel is growing. Don't even worry about that. Just worry about yourself. Worry about any progress is good progress. So just just stay focused. Stay to yourself. Stay in your own lane. Don't look at what everybody else is doing. And be yourself because people can tell when you're being fake. <sighs> Excuse <Damn>. you. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. So people can tell when you're being fake or trying to be like somebody else. So just be yourself. That will be my tips. Uh... I didn't answer that one. How did... Oh. From, um... I hope I'm saying this right. I'm horrible with names. But I think it's Teeny T. Would you say that? Teeny T? Yeah. <laughs> Teeny T. How, do you, how did you and Hubby meet? And how long have you guys been together? So, we're going to do a story time on that. But we've been together roughly around 12 years. And we met yeah. when we were kids. So, yeah, but we'll do a full story time on that, explaining details. Someone else, um, who is this? Okay, I already answered that. Oh, okay. So I have another question. Being that soy, this is from Lady Charlotte. Being that soy isn't good, especially for African American women, do you have any concerns? Being that a lot of vegan foods include soy in the ingredients. That's a great question. So, there's a big debate about soy being good or bad. I feel like just go with how you feel. Um, everything works for everybody different. If soy makes you feel horrible, don't eat it. Um, I'm not saying it's good or it's bad. Everything in moderation. Um... We do try to stay away from like a lot of processed foods when we're not, of course, monk bunging. But um, yeah, I don't have any concerns about it. We just go with how our body feels. If something is making us feel bad, of course, we're going to let it go. But thanks for that question. Uh, how do you already answer that? Do you guys have any? Oh, this is from the Beagle House. I think, yeah, the Beagle House. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have any pets and do they eat a vegan diet? Yes, we have two doggies, two Yorkies, and no, they do not eat a vegan diet. They do eat vegan food, but they don't eat uh, like a fully vegan diet. Yeah. Sometimes I make their food and it's vegan. Uh, let's see. If your kids want something else, we already answered that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, my boo, Madison Mukbang. <laughs> she said, what are some obstacles that your children go through being vegan amongst their peers? So that's for you guys. So what are some, like, like Honestly, hard things that you guys go through being vegan? Nothing, because I don't care. <laughs> no, like, as far as, like, with your friends or cousins or something, like, do you feel any way when they, do they say anything to you? Like yeah, they, but I really don't care. Yeah, like mm -hmm. maybe like that's not real. I don't, um or they just be like that looks so nasty. Mm -hmm. Like I don't care. Are you eating it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I agree. I agree with all. Mm -hmm. You did the same thing mm -hmm. like at school. But sometimes at school, your friends be wanting to try your food, huh? Yeah, whenever we like. Do a seafood boil uh, mukbang. Like whenever we do it, um, whenever we do, I post the um, um, mug that seafood boil like every week. Mm -hmm. They used to like they, on Monday. They used to like they have the seafood boil. The our vegan one. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yep. Okay, mm -hmm. I'll take it to school. Well, that's cool. You guys don't. So basically, you guys are just saying like. You guys do get negative comments sometimes, but it doesn't really phase you. Yeah. That's cool. That's good. That's big of you guys because adults get questions like that too or, or criticism like that too. Um, let's see. Or they'll, they'll also say that um, 
a two vegan fight is that you still call it beef and then they're like, <laughs> like corny jokes like yeah that. and then they're like no it's still perky it's still perky no they call it tofu <laughs> he said if two vegans uh, fight do they still call it beef and he said they say no it's still perky <laughs> oh that's funny okay uh from Sarah Bradley what does HD do for a living? He already answered that. He does, uh, he's an armed security guard and he does construction. What do you all eat on a regular basis? We just answered that. Um, outside of mug bones. What is this one? What are you doing? <laughs> it tastes good. Girl. When do you guys plan on going fully vegan using vegan cosmetics, lotions, soaps, Soap products, etc. Great question. So, that's a really good question. Because in one of our videos, we told you guys that we don't consider ourselves... Um, well, not us. Some people probably not consider us fully, fully vegan. Because we still have products that um, might not be fully vegan. So, let me explain that a little bit more. So, we don't go out of our way or we don't... Um, purchase things that are not vegan friendly I get a lot of makeup a lot of free makeup and sometimes it isn't um, vegan friendly but I don't like promote it or say you should go get this but I do get free makeup that sometimes it's not vegan friendly or cruelty free um, and then we said like we probably have clothing that's um, not vegan friendly I don't even know if I have a lot of clothing like that. Maybe like a purse or two, but we might have some stuff like that that's not vegan friendly. And we, and we still have... Uh-huh. You want your rice? Do I want what? Your rice. <laughs> My rice? Rice. <laughs> your rice. Big no. rice. Oh, it's not like you're saying your rice. I was like, what? <laughs> yes, I want my fries. <laughs> So, um, let me finish answering. So, yeah, so we might have some things that aren't vegan friendly, but we're not purchasing them. Like, we're not going out purchasing them. It's just stuff that we had before we were vegan. And like I said, I get free makeup, and sometimes it's not vegan friendly. Um, but whenever we do make a purchase with our own money, it's definitely, we definitely uh, try to make sure and check that it's vegan and cruelty free. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see. Is this one? Linda Marble. Good morning. I live in Indianapolis, Indian, um, Indiana. My question for you is, what did you do to lose your weight? You talk about it. Can you give me tips? I love your family. May God continue to bless you and your family. Thank you for sharing your life with us. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year's, Linda. We love you, too. Happy New Year. Thank you so much for watching us. We really appreciate I'm your support. And what else? Yeah, of course. But I'm talking <laughs> to Linda right now. Um, yeah, so um, I gained quite a few pounds when I had my kids. And I had to wait on for a while. So I kind of got sick of it. And this was before I was vegan. I um, decided to try to eat healthy and it worked I worked out and I lost some weight and then when I decided to go vegan I was able to maintain my weight and eat a lot more food than I ate uh, before I was vegan because before I was vegan I was eating small little tiny portion of brown rice like broccoli and maybe like grilled chicken or grilled fish or whatever so it was like really small. But Lana couldn't be in the house, like we, cause we. No, we're not talking about that. Uh, like about her can't be in the house. I'm just saying what I ate, like uh, to lose weight. So yeah, I'll probably eat like super small portions, um, to keep the weight down and working out like maybe five to six times a week. But going vegan, which is one thing that I really love about going vegan, because I can eat so much more food now, and. Um, I still work out about three times a week if I have time. Um, but I can eat a lot more food and still maintain my weight. So that's a great thing about going vegan. Any tips that I will give you for weight loss? I'm assuming that you're asking. Um, water. 
drink tons and tons of water. That's one thing that really helped me out too. It helps with your skin, weight loss. Um, yeah, water will be your best friend and be prepared. Don't go anywhere hungry. Or if you know you're going to be out the house longer than two hours, pack a healthy snack. So that way you're not tempted to grab the um, unhealthy options. So that'll be my tip. Okay, Marie, how do you stay fit and looking good? Oh, we just answered that. Simone Kearns, thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. Um, Hold on, Mom. Hold that. You guys know what time it is? Oh, my God. Riddle time! <laughs> All right. So, give me let's see what we got mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Which tire does not move when a car turns right? Timer is going on now. Which tire? Oh. Which tire does not move when a car turns right? The spare tire. Yep. I ding, got it. ding, 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 oh, ding. <laughs> and my mom got it at. It don't move when it turns right, left. <laughs> <laughs> At 13 seconds, my mom got it. The spare tire. The spare, spare tire. You oh, know, the one that, Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was a good so one. My mom you got, got another it. one since I got it so quick? Yeah. I got more. Of course I do. <laughs> yeah, I this is more December vibes, but it's all right. <laughs> Which of Santa's reindeer has bad manners? And your clock is going on now. Um, well, you know Santa's elf's name? His reindeers. Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen. Oh, no, Mom said elves, didn't he? Oh, his elves? Or no, his I oh. said reindeers. Um, Got that at 14 Dancer seconds. Fit, pet. Vixen? Oh, no. No. Comet? None of them. <laughs> and stop. Oh, my God. 25 seconds. 77 millimeters. Seconds, milliseconds. Yeah. So, um, so you guys, comment down below right now. Um, what's your answer to a thing? Which one of Santa's reindeers is has bad manners? So, it is. Wait, five, four, three, two, and one. Or pause the video. <laughs> so the answer is rude off. I was, oh, um, I was gonna say Rudolph, but I didn't like sound out like that. Let's so. see, Rudolph. Mm. Rudolph. See you guys. No <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. That was a good one. Okay. Let's get back into the questions. Let's see. Oh, you guys. So. Before I get back into the questions, I just want to give a huge shout out to my niece that's coming into the world. My brother is having his first baby. He's been wanting a baby so bad. And he's finally having his first baby and it's a baby girl. So the family is so excited for him. So shout out to my niece, Zephy. Love you already. Can't wait till you, you get here. So I just do that shout out real quick. Okay. So I'm going to answer a few more questions. Let's see. Let's pick some, some ones that I haven't answered already. Oh, excuse me. I don't think it's that many, actually. Let me see. Okay. So from Henry Eats ASMR, would you ever consider being vegetarian? So, um... I wouldn't consider being vegetarian. Even when I was transitioning over, I didn't even jump into, I didn't go vegetarian then vegan. I just went from my regular diet Maybe to vegan. vegan. Yeah, yeah, to vegan. Um, and the reason why is because uh, milk doesn't sit well with me. Dairy doesn't really sit well with me. Uh, before we were even vegan, we had almond milk in our house. We weren't even drinking. Oh right yeah, we milk. did. Yeah. yeah. At first, me and Lana didn't like the almond milk. We used to say it tastes like rubber, but now we do like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So um, no, I wouldn't consider being vegetarian. Um, just because 
I don't know. I, I don't think, it, for me, it's kind of like pointless. I'm going to be, ve- for me, if I'm going to be vegetarian, uh, yeah, no. It just wouldn't work for me. Um, let's see. What would you guys eat if you were? Oh, this is a good one. This is a really good one. What would you guys eat if you were on death row and it was your last meal? This is from Savannah Marilini. Mar- uh, I mean, Mar- Marinelli. 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 There Marinelli. you go. Sorry. Hey. Savannah Marinelli. Sorry about that. Um, it's saying, what would you guys eat on death row if it was your last meal? I would probably. Well, that's a hard one. You know what? I'm going to wait till HD is back on the video and we're going to answer that together. Because I got to think about that one. But that's a great question. Um, Bushra and um, Basma. I probably butchered that. I'm so sorry. But <laughs> says, not a question, but I like to watch Mukbang while you do your gorgeous makeup. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <clears throat> Oh, let's see. Um, Cree, oh, Creator, but it's spelled like Cree. Creator TV said, what is the name of that Brandy remix? Just need DJ, LOL. (laughs) I know you've been asking me in the comments. I actually downloaded that a while ago, and I got to find where I got it from because... I download. I looked that up. Um, I just looked up non-copyright music. So when I find it, I will get that to you. Okay, um, I'm gonna answer like three more questions, guys, and then I'm gonna wrap it up because I'm running out of time. <laughs> so beside this is from K R Y S J. Besides practicing veganism. Do you have any special facial routines uh, towards having flawless skin? Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, Yeah, no, I don't really have any special routines. Like I said, I drink a lot of water during the day. I drink um, tons of water. As soon as I wake up, I drink, um, I think like a 30, I think it's 32 ounces, the cup that I have. I drink a lot of water. Um, you used to use face masks. Not really. Though. I mean, yeah. Like that was really like that was a lot. Oh yeah, like yeah. yeah. So I since I do wear makeup um, often, I do wash my um, face morning and night, and I um, exfoliate twice a week and moisturize, of course, morning and night. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I pretty much do. But thank you. Any family? Oh, so Shania, Shania Lean, Leanne, Leanne. Sorry, Shania Leanne. You guys, forgive me. (laughs) Shania Leanne. I believe I'm saying that right. Any family traditions? What are your New Year's resolutions? And what health condition caused you to go vegan? And how old are you guys? So we answered pretty much all those already. Um, But any family traditions? Do we have any family traditions? Oh, I know I, one. What? We eat. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> no, we don't really have any family traditions. We just like to be around each other, hang with each other. We're really like, if you see one of us, you're probably going to see all of us. So, yeah. And I think that's pretty much it on YouTube. But I have some more questions on Instagram. On Instagram, but you guys, we're going to answer that in another video because we don't want this video to be too long. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new, please make sure you guys thumbs up the video, subscribe, let us know any questions or anything you want to let us know down below. And we appreciate you guys so much for sticking with us, supporting, and we'll talk to you guys later. Peace.